Get out of here, Ramirez. I'm not the cause of your problems, Forrester. You waltz into my home, come on to my wife. I was giving Taylor the attention that you couldn't bother to give her yourself. I cut you some slack before, Ramirez. Right now, it's taking every ounce of restraint not to teach you a long overdue lesson. Well, come on then. Don't hold back, Rich. Let's just cut to the chase, shall we? You stay away from my home. You stay away from my kids. And most importantly, you stay away from Taylor. I always thought you were pathetic, but never more than right now. Go ahead, Ramirez. Enlighten me. Okay. <laughs> I never envied you, your money, your position, your company. But I did envy what you had with Taylor. Clearly. She's an amazing woman, an incredible family. But you, you couldn't keep it together, could you? She never should have remarried you to begin with. Oh, she might disagree with you. That's not my opinion. That's hers. Taylor told you that. That hurts, doesn't it? That she sees you for what you are. Ridge Forrester, big man on campus. Nothing but a mama's boy, born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Well, you can spend your your life drooling after Brooke if you want, but you don't have to try that hard because you're free to have her. You can live your lives of self-indulgence and decadence on the money that you make selling your overpriced rags. Enjoy it, Rich. Your life of excess. But don't ever look back. And stay clear of Taylor. I'm looking after her now. You just happen to be there for Taylor during a difficult time in her life, and you think she's yours? It's rather uh, presumptuous on your part, isn't it? She needs someone now, and I'm gonna be there for her. No, fireman, you're not. Oh, come on. You don't want her, but you can't stand the thought of another man in her life? Isn't that a little selfish, considering you're running back to Brooke? When Taylor decides to move on with her life, I will wish her well. Until then? Until then. You want her sitting around longing for you because that's all your self-inflated ego can deal with. Well, if Taylor wants to be with me, that's for her to decide, not her ex-husband. Well, until I know exactly what your position actually is with her, I'll just talk to Taylor when she comes in this morning, okay? Good. Well, considering she doesn't work here anymore, Ridge, you'll be waiting a while. Let it sink in. Taylor doesn't want to have anything to do with you or your company anymore. She's not like Brooke. You can't keep her on a leash. You ended it. And she's done with you. For good.